Hi friends, welcome back to Tutorial Days. In this video, I am going to show you this web option under configuration. So, how it I reach here? Stores and then configuration. And it said that you click on web. From here, you can uh, do a lot of configuration. So, the first one is this URL option. The URL option, there is an option say add store code to the URL. So, this option is actually effective and this one is useful when you create multiple store okay and, but uh, in our case at this time we have not created multiple store so in case you create multiple store in that case this one is useful because in that that case what will happen it will be like fr and then maybe abc so store code will be uh, added with that so the last question is how where from where the store code will uh, be taken okay so the store code you can uh, get from here stores and then go to all stores and here if you click on this then there is an option to provide here store code okay so this store code will be automatically taken here and particularly when you will be making payment payment to get your third party plugins like the paypal etc so so uh, uh, the store code will go there so it will be easier to detect to understand from which website this payment has been made okay and so that was this and now the base url okay the base url is this one as you can see this is the base url sometimes since this in a folder inside folder okay this is not in main, main website but after some time, if you want to move this whole website into the main website, in that case, you will have to change this base URL, okay? Apart from that, you never change this base URL because as soon as you change this base URL, your website will be down. You won't be able to even access the admin part and from admin, you won't be able to change this. So I strongly recommend, unless you know programming and also unless you know database things, you don't make changes here. In case you make change, I'm showing you how difficult it will be. For example, I'm uh, changing here to UK. Just I'm putting here UK slash UK. Okay. Now, if you save, then you will see that admin section is totally distorted, and you cannot access admin section to revert this back. Yes, you can see now it says 404. If I try to once again go back and fix this through admin, then it won't allow me because I cannot enter into admin. Ever I can, ever I can enter into the admin, but it won't allow me to fix. So you can see there is a big problem that now I cannot access admin at all. And if I cannot access admin, in that case, I won't be able to fix this problem, and your site is totally down. So the solution is you go to your hosting cPanel. In my case, it's a Bluehost. So I go to Bluehost cPanel. So now I'm logged in. Then go to cPanel and then PHP my admin. From there, I can fix this guy. So unless you are very technical, unless you know database and also file management. I strongly recommend not to make changes inside admin, particularly base URL. Okay, so now I will go to file manager first. This and uh, also I will go to PHP my admin. Now you go here, this is my database, and search here core. And this is core config data. Okay. And then you go the last one. The last record here you can see that UK has been inserted, okay, has been changed. So, what you need to do just remove once again UK only, we will keep MG2, okay. So, now if I will try to open, then it won't still allow me to do that. So, what I will do once again, let's open here admin. Okay, still it doesn't tell me so what I need to do because there is cache problem. 
Okay. So, still no luck. So what I should do? I will go to here and mg2 and then where and cache and delete all the caches. So you can see that how problematic this becomes if you make any changes in this. Now if I try to open here admin then I will be able to access this admin and finally I will be able to access this admin. So you can see it is difficult. Yes, now I can access the admin. So same user password I need to put here. Then I will be able to access the admin. So now we are inside once again store and configuration. And then once again click on wave. So guys, you can see just making a small mistake how difficult it became for us. Right? Okay, so that was the base URL. Apart from that, there is no any additional thing we need to do here so it's better now i will show you default page this is important and particularly this section okay so which page you want to make home page for example this is home page okay let's do one thing let's create one another page so you can create the page from going to content and then Click on pages. I will create here a page called new or something different. Okay, so here this is the whole page currently. So what I'll do, I will just create one one more page from here. Say test home page. Okay, test home page now inside content content heading same thing i put here and i'll write here something this is test home page that's it now let's click on save let's try to refresh and check if the new page Appear or not? Where was that? It's very important. Then untick it and check test home page. Now it has come here. Now click on save and then we will check here if it is really. So we need to change, need to clear the cache as well. So to clear the cache, you go to system and then cache management and then flush cache. Okay, cache has been cleared. Apart from that, I will flush the static files cache also. Here, in the meantime, you can see test home page. It is displaying. Yes, so the data what we have put here. You can see this is test home page. It is coming. Whatever we have written inside the content, right? This one and the above section is coming from widget. This above section is coming from widget, which I will show you in further video. But for the time being, you can see this is the home page. Now this is the title. So that means what you can change the home page from here going to the default page. Apart from that, also you can specify here which will be the 40 page and like that cookie page. Now there are other configuration also. Cookie lifetime you can change from here. The default cookie lifetime you can change from here and also. Uh, if cookie is disabled, then which page should show? If session is uh, if JavaScript disabled, which page should show? So all these other configuration are also here. So you can configure from here. So guys, that's it in this video. 
and these were the important configuration which you can make under the wave and yes one more thing i believe i thought about yes search engine this one the second option very important so by default huge web server rewrites so it is yes what will happen if mistakenly you have uh, clicked here no or uh, by default it is no then what what will happen let me show you if you click save then first it will log you out from the admin and apart from that if you click on any of the products any of the products save and click on this one yes so this unnecessary index.php is added here this one also in admin section first it will log me out and then you can see unnecessary index.php is added into the url so to avoid that we will make the url seo friendly going to configuration section and then stores in configuration right stores stores and then configuration and then uh, wave and inside that from here so one second if i we save and config then this index.php unnecessary index.php will be removed from url so guys that's it in this web section of this configuration and in the next video we will see currency option and other as well so now admin once again i need to log, log in so admin three so that's it now you can see if i log in then index.php has been removed from the url Okay guys, so see you in the next video. And still you have not subscribed, then I recommend you to please subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.